And I can swear before God, Saudi is one of the best countries in the world. I can swear God, it is one of the best countries in the world because Sharia Saudi Arabia is 100 plus 1 percent, straight TV. But Kenyans, we are not used of that. And I want you media people to ask me a question, why do Kenya ladies die in Saudi Arabia? A simple question, I'll answer you right away. Why do Kenyans ladies die in Saudi Arabia? I want to ask you a question before I answer the question. Why do a number of girls is higher than gents? Wanaume namba yao ni iko chini kuliko ya wanaume ya wanawake. Hamjawahi jiuliza hivi. Kwa nini hii inchi ya Kenya iko na serikali na inasafirisha tunasafirisha wasichana huko wasichana wanasafirishwa Saudi Arabia each and every year. Tunasafirisha wasichana. Hii inchi iko under UN. UN inajua tunasafirisha wasichana na inajua wasichana wanakufia huko. Why kwa nini serikali haisimamishi? Kwa nini UN haisimamishi? Because they have done their duly diligent yao na tukapatana na sisi huko. Tukawaulizwa kwa nini wasichana wanakufa? Tulikaa chini na wao, tukakaa chini na Senate, tukakaa chini na Minister of Labor huko, tukakaa chini na Embassy na tukawaelezea kiini cha sababu cha wasichana kufa. Wasichana wakitoka hapa, wakifika huko wanaendaka na simu kama hii, simu ya mtandao. Wakifika huko naingia kwa groups za Kenya working in Saudi. Yes. Kwa mfano ni wewe una msichana ambaye ametoka kwenye kidhurai ama pali popote ama kijana. Mnapatana kwa mtandao. Anakuiba kutoka kwa ile nyumba umeenda. Ile nyumba umeenda unapewa 36000 uh, Kenya shillings. Anakuambia uko nje utapata uh, 72000. Na ni kweli unapata hiyo pesa. But document na mambo zote unaziwacha kwa hiyo nyumba. Ukitoka nje unakutana na wanaume. Si Waarabu wanaume wa Kenya. Sisi mm -hmm. Ndiyo tunawapachika hawa siyana mimba. It's not a secret. Sababu msiyana ni wetu, ni wakwetu. Tunapata urafiki. In Saudi Arabia there is no shortcut kwa sheria. Hii dawa za kupanga uzazi, it is prohibited 100 plus 1. Protection hakuna. Ukipata mimba, wewe ni it's up to you. Na lazima matu, tuendeleza hiyo maneno. And I'm sorry to, to say this in front of media. Ukipata na mwanaume huko, mkifanya usharati na yeye, upate mimba, it is up to you. Wezi pata mtoto kwa hospitali without documents na huwezi toa mimba. So dakika ya mwisho huyo msichana ana decide kutoa hiyo mimba. Yes. Uki decide kutoa hiyo mimba, I want to give me to give you three I want to give you three samples. Msichana huyu pengine hajawahi za hapa Kenya. Ni maana ya kwanza kwenda huko na ni maana ya kwanza yake ya kwanza kupata mimba. Akipata mimba akiwa ni maana yake ya kwanza anaambiwa atoe hiyo mimba na, na miezi 4. Want... Na yeye amefanya CS hapa. Maana ya kwanza amepata watoto wawili na njia ya CS. Anaambia skume mimba ya miezi ine. Itatoka. She will die. Number three, amepata mimba hapa. Huko. Na ameza hapa watatuawili na njia normal. Akifika huko, akipata mimba, anaambia tuwe hii mimba ya miezi ine. Ata succeed kutuwa hiyo mimba, lakini parasenta itabagi kwa tumbo. Uyo mziana nakufa. Once more na itua, mimi ndio nilikuwa controller. I was controlling 144,000 Kenyans with this Facebook. Including Moses Kuria. The current yes, we are going to He was under my control. He's a witness of that. Many Kenyans here know that. Well, I'm in Saudi Arabia. I was controlling 144,000 Kenyans on Facebook. So, ni na pigiwa simu na peo picha mchana na peo tarifa. Ame toka munanga, ame toka kangema, ame toka wapi popote na weka kwa Facebook. Kini kia ya mchana kufa hatuweki kwa Facebook. Kwa nini? Manake ya litoroka kule ya litoroka. Ako inje. Mwajiri hamshuguliki, si mwarabu alimpachika mimba Na si shuguli yake kupeleka hiyo mimba maiti nyumbani Kenyans, na you know Kenyans we don't throw our dead Waki, Akifa wa Kenya lazima tushugulike maiti lazima pelekwe nyumbani Dakika ya mwisho hatuta andika kiini cha msia na kufa Ndiyo pesa zichangu na wa Kenya tusafirishe maiti Tukizungumza na wazazi wake hapa Hatuta mwambia kiini cha msia na kufa Tuta mwambia ni high blood pressure, mambo zingine Sababu kuna mambo zingine zinaibu kuingia kwa masikia wazazi Wazazi wakisikia msiana wame kufa wanaita media Media kifika KICC Jomo Kinyata International Another one from Saudi There is no report yeah. There is no report Hakuna report is napeanaka because inaibu Ni report inaibu But I'm telling you The best country in the world Ni Saudi Arabia You cannot believe it You cannot believe it Mahali unakana sheria Na sheria unapirekana nao vile unasahili you cannot go beyond that Sharia to find you. So that's why people want to pick up Sharia, want to pick up Saudi Arabia, and Saudi Arabia doesn't have anything to do with the girls. Why only Kenyans? Who could know what to?
kuita baka zote duniani kwa nini Kenyans peke yao because tabia zetu za wasiana wetu zimekeuka sheria unafikiria sheria ya Kenya itaenda kufanya kazi nchi nyingine it's a lie it's a lie it can't it can't that's a muslim country and they have to protect and also Kenyans and Kenyans girls before they live here they should know 95% ya constitution ya Saudi Arabia imekotiwa kutoka kwa Qurani and there is no shortcut no matter what 95% I'm not a muslim I'm a christian and I know that 95% of sharia ya Saudi imekotiwa kutoka kwa Qurani na haibadilisha kwa even a, 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 a point hivi haibadilisha kwa lakini Kenyans wanataka tukifika huko tubadilishe it can't work it can't so you should know I want to make a program with one of the media service pole pole nikiwa kuna haraka ni waelezee so wanataka tukifika huko tubadilishe it can't work it can't so you should know I want to make a program with one of the media service pole pole nikiwa kuna haraka ni waelezee kwa kini ndio wasiana wakitoka hapa wajua wakitoka hapa wanaenda wakifanya nini wanaenda kufanya kazi ama wanaenda kufanya mambo zile tunafanyaga hapa kwetu hapa kwetu we have all the freedoms hata mtu anatoka mimba ine na there is no problem no no way you will be taken huko jaribu kutoa mimba moja my friend you are a killer Yes. I have a lot mimi kutoka niende huko nimesafirisha wasiana 16. Maiti nimesafirisha nime wamepokelewa hapa na vijana watatu. Ask yourself why. Hao vijana watatu wawili ni accident, mmoja alianguka kwa swimming pool. He's a witness of that. And many girls here ambao tumefanya kazi nao huko. Sasa nashindwa. Why Kenyans we don't ask ourselves? Why media doesn't ask herself? Kwa nini namba ya wasiana iko juu kuliko ya wanaume? Eh, hey. kwa nini sisi hatufuati wanaume wakufi? Eh. Hey. Na wako huko. Kwa nini wasiana peke yao ndio wanakufa? Mm. Maana yake hawawezi zuia joto. Mm. Joto ya kiume hawezi zuia. Azui. Naona na hapa amezoea. Na si makosa yake ni kawaida. Ni kawaida hapa Kenya we are free to do everything. But hapo funga mbwa yako mahali iko. Unashika? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. A few questions. Okay. Uh, afternoon. Ah, eh? uh, media. 